up guys and welcome to the fly workshop of Ivar Örn Hugsson, myself. To today we are going to be tying a familiar pattern for you guys at least in America uh, because this pattern is originally from I think Minnesota where these two brother, brothers are and uh, originally it's called brown fork tail but in modern days, there was another guy who kind of made it to, to his own pattern, changing the ingredients a little bit. And we are tying the Prince Nymph. And as a thread, I'm using a sample fly nano silk um, 30 denier in black. And for the hook, I'm using a, a traditional nymph hook number 14, actually from Rx and the Prince nymph is not like uh, here in Iceland it's not like a big thing actually but it is a really good good fly and for the tail of this uh, Prince nymph we are using Goose Pirates and we will be using the same Pirates for the for the wing, we are using a brown bias for the uh, tail. And yes, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel because we have a bunch of good content coming in in around the, the in around the Christmas time and uh, some vlogs and, and some stuff. I will be staying in Spain ten days with my son in the coming in just a week or so flying out to Spain uh, with my son to spend uh, 10 days in the sun with him um, but um, I will be still be posting some stuff online of course uh, for the tail of the fly I'm using those couple of uh, brown goose pirates and uh, we have to make sure that they are like in a forked shape, like a V-shaped um, thing. And when we tie them in, it's fine to adjust them like this. Measure the length of them. And all that. And I'm not satisfied with this um, lineup of them. So sometimes it could be better just to play some one uh, by one at a time and take like a couple of tight wraps to secure them and then you lay the other one on the top to keep the v-shape you're looking for something like this it looks much better than trying to place them at the same time uh, both of them at the same time then we'll tie them in like firmly on the on the hook shank and it is um, a 3.2 mil cover bead I'm using and for the uh, rip of the fly I'll be using a medium simple fly oval gold which is right here pre-cutted and, and ready to go and uh, Yeah, speaking of sample fly, they just announced me as their, one of the pro team members, which is a great, great honor for me as a as a flight tire. Oh, makes me the first Icelandic flight tire to be there, be there on the pro team. So I'm looking very much forward to work with them in the very future. Uh, for the body of the fly of the Prince Nymph, I'm using like two or three strands, I will be using three strands of uh, Pico Coral on this one. We'll tie that in securely. And uh, this is, as you see, it's quite a long video on this fly for the not, not a complicated pattern, but I'm not cutting or editing out any of the mistakes I'm making. So 
for people who are beginning flag tying, you can see the mistakes that I make as a kind of like an GP, like an experienced tire, not a professional one, but well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm the man or the person to judge on, on myself on that, but um, but uh, I'm gonna keep in the very future just for for you guys to learn to keep my mistakes in the videos, most of them. So we'll snip away the uh, ego curl. and build up like a little base of a thread then comes around the um, the oval gold tinsel we lock that in like so with our thread i love those threads from simplify i have to be honest these uh, nano silks are the strength of them are like almost second to none uh, and as a matter of fact, this fly is actually or originally tied with a black ostrich instead, ostrich instead of the peacock. So uh, it would be fun to tie it like that at some point. Skip the peacock and tie it in the original version. That's a good idea for another video, actually. Uh, the, thro the throat or the color of this fly. I'm using this brown sparkled hen and uh, before we attach the hen I'm doing what I learned by my mentor John Silverstone to prepare the feather like this, create like a little brush on it so so it's way easier to to work with the feather and and, and catch it in with your with your thread. And of course, the shiny side of the feather facing forward. And then we lock it in place like this. It is like sometimes like a risky business to um, to um, Yeah, I had to stop the video, to cut the video, because my camera was running out of battery. But we are back on track, so. And this is what happens when you sometimes uh, place a feather on the weak, weaker side of the of the stem of the feather. So uh, it it can happen. So what I will do, I'm going to show you how to fix that. We'll just create another brush and uh, that's gonna make the edge gonna it's a little bit further further up on the stem of the feather which makes it stronger preferably we need that and as you see it's not much of a feather I'm using so I'm not using all the feather feather for this so I stripped away the parts I'm not using because I don't want the legs of the fly to be too heavy right too much of them over dressed in another way so i'm picking a lighter weight uh, hackle plier to attach the color on the hackle it's not gonna do so we have to come back the, um, the fibers of the fly hold them there are lost uh, feather to get the other hackle pliers <laughs> to uh, grab it just like so I finish off the turn to do it gently because otherwise you'll break the stem i'm going to make it the same so we will lock the feather in like uh, so and we have the um, 
and the hackle or the legs of the fly ready. We'll snip away the stem or the rest of it, and then I'm going to comb down, comb down the uh, feathers. So we are kind of making space for the wing there because we do not have the do not want to have the wing. Uh, like you have to keep it in make space for it so on the top uh, for the wing i'm using the same material as a tail except it's in uh, tight in white color or bleached probably in white color and we are going to tie that in in a v-shape just like the uh, tail and i believe We'll give it a try to uh, tie them in two at a time, but it's going to make it way, way easier to tie one in at a time. Just get a thread to their hand. It's going to be like a forked V shape. I'm not giving you the finger, don't even think that. <laughs> um, I'm going to take one at a time and uh, And yeah, fold it that way. And then I lock it in with our thread carefully. And about in this position. Yeah, I lost that one. That's okay. And just do it again. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel once again, but um, when you're locking in the pirate, you have to do at least a couple of turns, like tight turns to lock them in. Then you'll place the other one on the top, lock that securely in with a couple of wraps too, and then you get this nice V-shape I was looking for. The length of the, uh, of the wing uh, by it should be about the same length as the uh, tail of the fly. I'm gonna try to open up the uh, open up a little bit the uh, haggle. But uh, then again, I need to snip away these excess remains of the uh, of the wing. Not too close to the thread though, but um, we'll be using a, just to finish this job, narrow point scissors. Um, you'll find the uh, full pattern and the description of the fly in the, uh, in the, in the video descriptions below the video. You will also find like, an, like information about how to support the channel. Oh, I said PayPal donations. They're very welcome, you know. It's like a, to get something for the work because I'm not charging anybody for the videos and that's not even on the plan to do some things. There are some tires in Iceland who have channels here, but they are like, you have to be like a subscriber and you have to be paying like a monthly fee to be able to see their content. But I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to keep it free for the coming generations. Um, the Prince Nymph is there. It's ready. I'm going to just uh, secure the uh, knot and the hat with a Solaris Bone Cure uh, UV resin and bake that with our UV light. I just want to say to you guys, uh, again, thanks for watching uh, the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Share my videos and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.